Knowing that an assault weapons ban is not on the horizon anytime soon, despite some of Congress's best efforts this season of dystopian world, a Republican, <laughs> Republican, congressman has introduced a federal assault weapons licensing bill. In the name of protecting the Second Amendment. Keep watching for everything we know so far. Hey Liberty fam and welcome back to the channel. Liberty Baby is also back behind the camera today and she has lots to say about this bill. <laughs> We heard the first inklings of this bill last week, and of course, government is being a little slow on releasing the text to the public, as in it's been a week. But while we still can't read it to know the full extent of its awfulness, the bill's sponsor did put out a press release with the major details. They are, as expected, a kick in the teeth. But before we get into all of that, I want to thank today's sponsor, Vulcan Arms. Their mission is to be the largest and most innovative premium firearm accessory brand in the world, setting the standard for all firearm products. Right now, they are revolutionizing storage with their one-of-a-kind Weatherlock gun bags that resist literally everything. Because even though an AK can still shoot with a barrel full of mud, an AR, eh, not so much. Also, great if you're looking to protect your gear even after a few of those boating accidents. Check out their new fall product launch at VulcanArms.com. All right, gang, so this new bill was introduced by New York Rhino Chris Jacobs, maybe in hopes that he's the one Republican Hochul will let stay in New York. He's one of two Republicans who voted in favor of the assault weapons ban that hit Congress earlier this year, so really no surprise there. The bill would require anyone looking to buy a rifle, pistol, or shotgun with an ever-expanding list of no-no features to get a special license from the feds to the tune of $130, not including the price of the required safety training. The license would be pretty similar to concealed carry requirements in many states. Extensive background checks, fingerprinting, and safety classes. The license would also have to be renewed every five years and would have a 30-day waiting period, which in reality would probably clock out a lot closer to six months the way the government is with their paperwork. They have the paperwork? What paperwork? Jacobs acknowledged in the press release that most gun owners and most Americans are law-abiding citizens and that the folks who are out there hell-bent on violence are a fringe minority. But that's about as far as he went to blow smoke up people's butts because in his next breath, he claimed the bill protects the Second Amendment. I mean, yeah, sure, if your definition of protection is a racket of fees and bureaucracy because you're not all that different from organized crime then yes, it is a protection. Where's my f***ing money? This bill, I believe, is a common sense piece of legislation designed as a compromise to ensure Second Amendment rights are protected, while also putting additional safety protections in place to stop the wrong people from obtaining assault weapons. Let's be clear, the vast majority of gun owners are responsible Americans. However, the horrific tragedies we witnessed suggest additional protections are needed. Yeah, uh, no compromise, full stop. The current iteration of the bill, as far as we know, has a grandfather clause for anyone who already owns the scariest of boomsticks. And of course, current and former law enforcement can skip through the licensing requirement because no cop ever sold any of their guns to civilians ever. <laughs> nope. I'm really interested to see the full text of the bill, as the press release seems to use the words assault weapon and semi-automatic pretty interchangeably, which would be on par with the assault weapons ban we saw get shot down a few months ago. What's especially interesting, too, is he claims that if states have vigorous concealed carry requirements, like New York, those people wouldn't have any additional requirements. It's not clear, again, because we don't actually have the bill, if that means they wouldn't even have to apply or if they just have to send in their 130 bucks. 
Also, it seems like it would be a lot of work to track a patchwork of licensing laws to determine who has to have an assault license and who doesn't, especially considering how incompetent the alphabet agencies are. He also very pointedly says that it's New York's new laws, you know, the ones that spit in the face of the Bruin decision, that exempt anyone from this assault weapon rigmarole. Jacobs also notes that his time in Congress is about done, so he's not worried about re-election, which says a lot. He also claims this bill was built after speaking to gun owners, rifle owners in particular, about their concerns, and decided that their views were just completely invalid with no basis in reality. I spent a lot of time talking with people in the Second Amendment community about why they were uncomfortable with any additional regulation on an assault weapon, and their arguments, to me, just did not ring true as to why there shouldn't be any requirements and something that is so lethal and was designed for military purposes to kill a lot of people quickly. What I'm doing is I think, having spent some more time getting a sense of the realities here, that I'm putting forth what I believe is a reasonable piece of legislation that may have a greater opportunity for Democrats and Republicans to support and get legislation that will, again, achieve the goal that we all want and minimizing and hopefully eliminating the sort of incidents that we've seen in Buffalo. Yes, because criminals are so deterred when things are against the law. What you just told us, Congressman, is that this isn't at all what gun owners and your constituents want, so <laughs> goodbye and good riddance. In the meantime, I'll be waiting for the full text of the bill, which is H.R. 8882. You know the drill, call your legislators if any of them are the kind of folks that actually listen to you, which seems to be harder and harder to come by these days. That's it for this quick little video. Please like, subscribe, and share. Get this video out there. YouTube is doing their shenanigans again. Also, check out today's sponsor and my new full semi-automatic assault merch at the link down in the description. Assault baby not included. And as always, thanks for tuning in. Stay safe and happy shooting. Pew, pew!